Let's examine the concept of the derivative of a circle arc length. You know what an arc length is. If you were looking at a circle from one point to the other point, there's a certain arc. What is the length of the arc? But the derivative of that arc length is the rate at which that arc length is changing. The extent to which the curve, the circular curve, shrinks or expands per unit time. How can we examine the derivative of a circle arc length where the radius will be held fixed? You can do multiple approaches. I'll show you a good approach. Using a unit circle, I have a specific point. I extend a radius from the origin. I have a line down and a line across. Here's my x, here's my y, a certain angle. I can define parametric equations for that point, which has x and y values. You know, using right triangle tri trigonometry, cosine theta is equal to x over r, x is equal to r cosine theta. And then likewise for y, I have r sine theta. Now what I would do is the derivative of these. I will do the derivative with respect to the theta variable. The derivative of r cosine theta will be minus r sine theta. The derivative of dy over d theta of this will be r cosine theta. And now I have both of these derivatives. What do I do with them? I have a formula. Consider that the arc length is measured as s or represented as if I'm using here theta as my variable because I'm doing the parametric approach, then the derivative would be represented as ds or d theta. This is what I need to determine, and there's a formula for that. The rate of change of your arc length for a circle with regards to your theta variable is equal to, I'm using a positive values, I'll have here dx or d theta whole square plus dy or d theta whole square. All of this, the sum of this is in the square root. I have a dx or d theta, which is this. What's the square of this? It will be here r square sine square theta. Then I have dy or d theta, which is this. What's the square of r cosine theta? It's going to be r square cosine square theta. I have to compute this. I can isolate my r square, and then I'll have here the items which go with it, sine square theta plus cosine square theta. But I know this by means of trigonometric identity is equal to 1. The only thing which I find here in the square root is an r square. The end result here is an r. If someone were to ask you, what is the rate at which the arc length changes for a circle? It is equal to exactly that radius of that circle, and that right there is the correct answer. Now let me show you a much easier approach. I'm looking at this circle. If I'm looking at just a portion of that circle, this is not drawn to scale, but I have a sector. Here's my r, here's my r. I know my arc length for that sector is equal to r theta. If I were to do the derivative of this item right here, where the radius is a constant, the only thing I'm doing is a derivative of my theta variable. If you do the theta variable by means of the power rule, you'll end up here at just the radius, and that right here is the same answer as we've derived. The derivative of your circle arc length is dependent only on its radius as you see over here.